Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a very simple soup which is sweet corn soup. All right. Now let's get started. What I've taken in a bowl is about a liter of water and I'm going to let it boil. But before it boils, I'm going to add my first ingredient which is corn. So I've taken about quarter kilo of sweet corn and I'm going to add that to my water which is kept to boil. So now what is happening is it is slightly boiled. To this now I'm going to add my seasoning. The first seasoning is going to be chicken powder. I'm going to use about one to two teaspoon of chicken powder just so that I have a lovely chicken flavor to my broth. Let's taste it and see if it's enough. Needs a little bit more. So I think uh, about one and a half tablespoon of chicken powder is good enough for the soup. Yeah, it's nice and seasoned, well seasoned. So once soup, once it comes to a boil, what I decided to do is I just take one small piece of chicken breast and cut them into small thin slices into the soup so that I have a few bits of chicken pieces that will show. Not just using the stock, but also have a little bit of chicken piece in my chicken soup as well. So it's going to be sweet corn chicken soup that I'm going to be making. Just a few pieces, not too much. Just take about, I've just taken like a 50 gram piece I've taken and I'm cutting them into small pieces. It's already flavored with the chicken stock or the chicken powder that I've used. Just so that you have small chicken pieces showing on your soup, I'm just adding that. Adding the bones also. Okay. Like so. See just a few chicken pieces showing up like this. Let it boil for about 10 minutes now and then I'll get back to you. So it has now been 10 minutes that it's boiling. In a separate bowl what I've done is I've taken 10 grams of cornstarch and added about a cup of water and made a nice slurry out of it which I'm now going to add slowly to the corn soup. So the soup nicely thickens up. Like this. Look how it is thickening up. Now let this boil for the next 5 minutes. I want the cornstarch to cook completely and we can have a nice thick soup. So another 2 or 3 minutes I let it boil, let it first come up to a boil. All right. In the meantime what I'm doing is I've taken beat it nicely because I'm going to make nice ribbons out of these eggs in my soup. So make sure that you nicely beat them. All right. And before you add it to the soup, it needs to be boiled really well. It has to be really hot. All right. 
Next, I'm going to add is a small pinch of white pepper. White pepper to the soup. Since I've used fresh corn versus tin corn, I'd like my soup to be a little sweet. So what I do is I add about two tablespoons of sugar to it. So I've added now. So I've added about two big large tablespoons of sugar. If you want it less sweeter, you could add less sugar to it. If you like it sweet, I like it medium, so not very sweet, not very you know, salty. It should be, you know, like like how you have tin, you know, corns. Sweetness should be just the same like that. So I think about one and a half or two two uh, tablespoons of uh, sugar should do the trick. I, as you can see now, the thickness of the soup and it is vigorously boiling for the last two or three minutes. I'll allow it to boil for another minute or so and then show you what I'm going to do next. Now in order to make your ribbon with your eggs, we need to make sure that your soup is nice and hot. Okay. So first thing what I'm going to do is make sure my eggs are beaten really well and then I'm going to turn off my gas stove and then I'm going to swirl it round and round like this and I'm going to slowly pour my eggs inside it. Make sure it's done slowly. How lovely it looks now. So always remember, make sure your soup is nice and hot, absolutely piping hot and then beat your eggs really well, turn off the gas stove and then pour in the eggs and have a lovely ribbon. So here you go, my sweet corn soup is ready. Look how thick and luscious if you like my recipe please make sure that you subscribe to my channel also make sure that you share and like the recipe also make sure that you click on the bell icon so that you get further notification about the next recipe that I'm gonna post thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoy this at home have a nice day